Hey guys, welcome to the June 2020 Keto Crater Unboxing. I feel like every time I make this video, I say, oh my God, I can't believe it's insert whatever month here, but like, it's June. The first half of the year is over. Like, honestly, I don't feel bad about it. And that's a blessing. Like normally, you know, you can lament about, oh, time has gone by. Oh my gosh, already so much time has gone by, but I feel good about life right now and I feel good about what I'm accomplishing. So like, Amen. That's all I gotta say. I also gotta say amen to this keto crate that we about to unbox, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, before we jump into it, due to everything that's going on in the world today, uh, I got a message from Keto Crate saying that their supply chain was interrupted and that all of the June Keto Crates have already been sold out. I mean, that's a blessing for them. Congratulations, Keto Crate. But unfortunately, any Keto Crate that you order this month, you'll get your first crate in July. But if you want to go ahead and pre-order for July, you can use the link in the description box below for $10 off your very first Keto Crate. Once again, thank you so much to everyone that uses my link to order your Keto Crate. I really, really appreciate it. And I really hope that you enjoy the items in these crates as much as I do. With that being said, leg up. Okay, but let's jump into the snacks. First of all, we have Pazoots. Y'all know how I feel about flavored nuts. These are sea salt and vinegar. I can just already tell why. I, you know, I don't know that I'm going to like these, but I'm definitely going to give them a try. These are Pazoots. There are 1.45 servings per container. Now, y'all know y'all are just wrong for that. 1.45? Okay, and per serving, there are 140 calories, 12 grams of fat, five total carbs, two fiber, so that's three net carbs, so that's three times 1.45, I'm done, uh, and seven grams of protein per serving. So there's just peanuts, sea salt, apple cider vinegar, water. I mean, the ingredients are all well and good, but like, why though? It says Pazoots Peanuts, invented by the mad scientist Dr. Alfred P. Pazoots, Wait a minute, are you telling me, like, is that a cartoon or is that actually his real name? Like, game changer. Boy genius, aerospace engineer, and peanut pioneer. Like, I still can't tell whether or not they're joking. Pazoot's peanuts are infused with natural flavors and zero artificial ingredients. So brilliant, it took a rocket scientist to come up with them. For more info on Alfred's story, visit pazoots.com. Well, absolutely, yes, I will now. I might not like all these tastes, but that is an interesting story. Next we have, oh my gosh, you guys, natural, simply delicious vanilla instant pudding. You guys, I have been looking for pudding. Y'all know I love Jello, but I was like, why don't they have low carb pudding? Wait a minute, how many carbs are in this thing? Okay, so serving size is one fourth of a package, and one serving prepared is 70 calories, 0.1 gram of fat, 10 total carbs, 1.7 fiber, so it was like two fiber and four sugar alcohol. So that's four net carbs per half cup, zero grams protein. I mean, if this is good enough, then I'm, you know, four net carbs for a pudding treat wouldn't be that bad. Okay, the number one ingredient is potato starch. Like, so yeah, definitely where the carbs are coming from. We have erythritol, then dextrin, emulsifiers. Yeah, I mean, not the cleanest thing ever, but I'm definitely gonna try this. Definitely wish it was chocolate, but I can't wait to see how this vanilla tastes. Next we have Gorilla Goods Activated Hillside Pumpkin Seed and Kale. It's like a nut mix, so it's not just nuts. It's almost like a trail slash snack mix. Organic snacks, raw strength, absolutely. Okay, the ingredients are organic pumpkin seeds, organic kale, organic tamari. Okay, so it really just does seem to be pumpkin seeds and kale just like crumbled together. Not sure how I feel about the crumbly kale. I feel like it's just going to like get everywhere. That's okay. We'll see on Smash the Crate. Serving size is one pack. There's 210 calories, 17 grams of fat, six total carbs, and three fibers. So three net carbs, not that bad, and 12 grams of protein. I'm interested to try these. Oh my gosh, but what I am even more excited and interested to try is the cookie department keto cake wall cookie. You guys, this is a birthday cake flavor cookie and y'all know how I feel about birthday cake flavor things. I hope this is good. Serving size is one cookie, 230 calories, 19 grams of fat, 
17 total carbs. That is a doozy. Five fiber and nine sugar alcohol. So what, that's three net carbs? I'm still here for it. And six grams of protein. I hope this is good. The ingredients, almond flour, monk fruit, grass-fed unsalted butter, eggs. Okay, and then fiber after that. Okay, I'm here for all of this. I am very, very excited about this. Okay, next we have, oh, Shrewd Food Protein Puffs. Oh, look at this new branding. Once again, I am obsessed with everyone's new branding. These are brick oven pizza puffs. I've had Shrewd Food Protein Puffs before. I really like the way that they taste, to be honest. I wish these were sweet. I wish these were chocolate or vanilla or strawberry, something like that. But I do know that these brick oven puffs taste good, but I can't wait to try them in this bag. It is one serving per container. There are 90 calories, three grams of fat, two total carbs, and 14 grams of protein. For two total and net carbs, that's great. These are mostly a protein snack. They always say no eggs, soy, or peanuts, or tree nuts, no artificial flavors, no colors from artificial sources. Okay, that's fine. It says asterisk, as with any high protein food, drink plenty of water. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I am excited to try these. I already know that I like them. Okay, oh wow, we have a Zone Perfect Keto Shake. This says burn body fat. This is white chocolate coconut. To be honest, I am very interested about the flavor. I will be interested to know whether or not this actually tastes like white chocolate and or coconut at all. It says no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors or colors, no gluten, no soy. This container is 11 ounces and has 200 calories, 17 grams of fat, three total carbs, oh, and three net carbs, not bad at all, and 10 grams of protein. Those really aren't bad macros. The ingredients, filtered water, coconut cream, milk protein, not bad. I will be interested in trying these. I see these at the store all the time. Once again, I'm not really a protein shake, drink your calories type person unless it's bulletproof coffee, but I'll give this a try. All right, then we have, oh, we have Hecka Good Foods Keto Bar. This is white chocolate raspberry. We've had some Hecka Good Bars in the Keto Crates before. To be honest, they haven't really been my favorite in terms of consistency, but I will absolutely try a new flavor. I'm completely here for it. For one bar, there's 210 calories, 15 grams of fat, whew, 24 total carbs. That is a lot. Six fiber, three sugar alcohol, so I'm sure that there's going to be some allulose in here somewhere, and then 10 grams of protein. Yeah, it says two grams of net carbs, so the rest of that is allulose. Okay, the ingredients are almonds, allulose, soluble tapioca fiber, whey protein isolate, cocoa butter, erythritol, natural flavors, dried raspberries, sunflower lecithin, raspberry juice concentrate, sea salt. Not too bad. I'll be interested to try it. Not my favorite. And then we also have, oh, we have carne beef jerky. See, now I am going to give this a try. This is not a meat stick. See, this is the sort of stuff I can try. I can't do meat sticks. Oh, simple ingredients. Beef plus water plus seasonings. I am absolutely here for that. Serving size is one ounce. There's two and a half servings per container. One serving is 90 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, 16 grams of protein. I am absolutely here for that. It just says carne on the package, but I thought this company was Keto Carne. So yeah, it does seem like that because the website is still ketocarne.com, but I'm here for the new packaging and we will be giving this a try. Oh, what we won't be giving a try is this meat stick. Why? Why is this meat stick here? This is a Singing Pastures Pork for the Planet Rome Stick made with pasture-raised heritage pork, uncured bacon. I'm still not going to be able to do it. Like, it's bacon, and I'm still not going to be able to do it. Like, this just looks disgusting. And it, it has, like, a sausage casing where you can tell it was twisted off on the ends. Like... Just the most unappealing looking thing ever. It does not have the nutritional information on here. I don't care because we're not going to be eating it. 100% pasture aged pork, water, uncured bacon. I mean, good for you guys. Mm -mm. No, good for you guys. Bad for me. You know what I'm saying? And finally, it looks like, oh, we have some good D's blueberry pancake mix. Oh my gosh. I love good D's. I love blueberry pancakes. To be honest, I wish this was some of that just add water frosting. Have you guys seen that on Instagram? Dia has a new product. 
It's like frosting where you just mix and add water and then you have frosting? What? Like, I am so excited to try that, but I'm also really excited for these blueberry pancakes. Her baking mixes are the first pre-made baking mixes that I ever saw, that I ever had access to. And plus, Dina is amazing. I met her last year at KetoCon. I am excited to try these. I don't know if we'll be able to make them for Smash the Crate, but I mean, maybe we go make some of these up because I bet they are just delicious. Okay, directions. You will need eggs, coconut oil, and coconut milk. Interesting. Coconut milk? Maybe I would do almond milk. But I like how she gives you how much you'll need depending on how many you're making. So if you're serving two, serving four, serving 12, she lets you know how much of this mix that you need. According to her, this whole bag would make 12 servings, about 24 pancakes. So there's two pancakes per serving. As prepared, it's gonna be 130 calories, nine total fat, 13 total carbs, seven fiber, zero sugar alcohols, four grams of protein. Yep, the ingredients are organic coconut flour, soluble tapioca fiber, allulose, freeze-dried blueberries, etc. So how many net carbs does this say? Okay, two net carbs per two pancakes. That is so interesting. I cannot wait to give these a try. Okay, you guys, that is it. We are done for this month's Keto Crate. I give it like a B. Nothing in here that I'm super, super pumped about, except with the exception of this cookie department birthday cake cookie. I've actually seen ads for this on the internet before, and I was like, I wonder if those are good, but you know I'm not buying no case of 12 or nothing like that. So I have been wanting to try this. Everything else, you know, like I said, I'm sure I'll like these protein puffs just fine. I am actually very interested in this pudding. So, you know, B plus, I would say. Some things I'm looking forward to, some things that I already know I'm probably not gonna love, but that's not the Keto Crepe's fault. <laughs> Comment down below, what items in here have you tried? Would you be interested in trying? Also, don't forget, you can comment on this video to win your very own June Keto Crate. Just because they're all sold out doesn't mean that I can't get you that hookup with the free one to give away. So comment down below to be entered to win your very own June Keto Crate. If you want to go ahead and pre-order for July, you can also use the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, What I Eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. They could be anything like weigh-ins, recipes, date nights, or keto crate unboxings. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.